All right, I'm going to be showing you how to do the quest Plight of the House Elf, specifically the Dungeon Spinner's Cave. Once you get to this part in the quest, everything's pretty self-explanatory up until this part. You're going to head into the cave. Lots of signs here telling you to beware of spiders so you know what you're in for. Head on in and make sure you use incinerate and uh, burn this web down. You're going to head over here and right here to your left, there's a treasure chest and a note. This is telling the story of poor little Tobbs and his evil, hateful master. Oof. After that, we're going to continue on down through the passageway. You're going to need to do a jump across here, get you a little run and jump across. And now, you're going to see that there are some spiders that begin attacking. There's some crates and rocks here to help you get rid of them quickly. Remember, spiders are vulnerable to fire. Now, down here where the spiders were is to continue further with the quest. But we're going to head actually up at the top. There is a web here to burn because we got some treasure back here to get before we head down where those spiders were. So head back into this little hovel, grab your treasure chest. Now we're going to head down to where you, those spiders had appeared when you first came here. All right, we're going to have to burn another web here. Some spiders are going to be crawling around over here to the right, so dispatch of those. Now if you run up to the left here, there is a mushroom to collect and you get a little teaser for what's coming ahead. Head back around. Now we're going to go to that right passageway. And here's some more eggs. Now I stood a little too close. You're going to get hit with poison. But you can fire at those from further away. It's definitely recommended. Another web to dispatch. But before we do that, make sure you head back here. Get rid of the web with the fire. And you're going to find a treasure chest back here. More spiders are going to come out. And now we can go burn this web. Head on in. Some more mushrooms to collect here. More spiders to fight. Now make sure you get rid of these eggs before you get up to them. Some spiders are, the little one-shot spiders are still going to pop out, but it's better than getting poisoned when you run by them. So just dispatch the eggs as you head up this ramp here and continue on around. Grab this bag that's over here in this cove over to the right, and now we're going to have to jump across this chasm. So get your little run and jump across, and then duck under and don't worry about the uh, creepy crawlies you might see in this tunnel as you head through to the other side. On your left, before you exit, you are going to find another little bit of treasure here. Looks like I got a new robe. And then we're going to head back out of there and make a left and continue on further down. Now you're going to slide here, which means you cannot exit the same way you came in. Remember that because a lot of people have trouble getting out of here. Now you're going to get a big spider down in this room. Just like the other spiders you have probably fought the game before, uh, watch out. You will have to dodge when he comes lurching at you. Dispatch of them and then get rid of all the little spiders. They are on the other side of the ledge here. So just kind of dodge as they spit webs at you and kill them from here. Now, in this room, before you continue forward, there is another letter here from Tobbs for a little bit more story into what's going on and some treasure to pick up. So grab that and then... We can head over to this web. We're gonna need to burn through it, of course. Head up and around. Now you're headed towards that platform where you were fighting those spiders before. You may have some collectibles that they drop. There's gonna be a mushroom here to pick up. Now down here, you'll see these chests. This is your way through. You just need to clear them out of the way and you're gonna crawl on through this cavern. Lots of creepy crawlies in here. Don't worry, just head right on through. On the other side, we're gonna jump up this ledge and climb up. And we've got another big, scary, this is the one that you saw earlier. Now this could be a little different than the other spiders you have fought. Fire is still good against it, but it is going to do three attacks like this in a row. So you need to be ready when he lurches at you to do three consecutive dodges. Other than that, use the environment to your advantage, smash things into them, watch out for the little spiders. If you've upgraded your incinerate spell, you can kind of do an AoE and kind of get them off of you when they start crowding up on you. But the main thing to watch out here is the dangerous part, which is dodging, especially when she comes at you with three executive strikes that can, depending on your level, kill you. Continue blasting away, chipping at her health until you finally do defeat her. Once you've dispatched all of the spiders, Make sure you collect all the treasure from the drops from where they died, all strewn across the room. Now you'll see a platform over here. You'll want to head this way, and there's a, a cavern on the other side where you kind of crawl through. There's a treasure chest up here, and then it continues onward. 
it wraps around, and you can see here that actually heads just right back into the same room we were where we fought the big spider. It's no big deal. You, you can't incinerate your way all the way through from this side, so just don't worry about it. It's just another way to get into this room. Head back out. Now we're gonna head over and up this platform and across. There's a web to burn. That's how you know you're going the right way. Head on through. Now, when you come to this room, you're going to have to jump across here. Once on the other side, smash that wall down, and you have found Tobbs. Now, you can't leave this place, like I said earlier, from the way that you got in. So, follow the path forward past Tobbs and go down into this area right here. For some reason, it took me forever to notice that there is a passageway. I don't have it on video, but it's right there. You can see it. That's the way you want to go. So, head that way to exit the cave. Do not try to backtrack. It will not work. But, before you leave, I did find one more little secret here. Before you get in the water, if you see that platform right there, there's a little bit of rocks to get. You can hop to that one. And I messed up here, but you can actually blast through there, and there is a treasure there on the other side. Have fun, and I hope this walkthrough helped with Plight of the House Elf and the Spinner's Cave in Hogwarts Legacy. Please subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy guides.